Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve this first question of exercise 8.1 and the question says the angles of quadrilaterals are in the ratio 3 raised to 5 raised to 9 raised to 13 and you have to find all the angles of the quadrilateral. Now we know that quadrilateral is a closed figure having four sides so this should be a quadrilateral if i name this a b c d and obviously there are four angles in this quadrilateral this is the first angle this is the second this is the third and this is the fourth and the ratio is given to you now the first thing is if the ratio between these four angles is given to you then if you want to find yeah, if you want to know what should be the value of this angle in that case you have to remove the uh, ratio and you have to multiply these numbers with a variable and for that for here let's say that this angle is equal to 3x and this angle is equal to 5x this angle is equal to 9x and this angle is equal to 13x. Now, to find the values of these angles, what I have done is, I have multiplied these ratio with a variable, which is x here. Now, the second important thing is, you know all four angles of a quadrilateral and we know that the sum of all the angles in a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees. So here, I can say that the sum of all the angles, that is angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 degrees. This is the sum of angles in a quadrilateral. So you have to mention, you have to mention the reason here. Now what you have to do is, you have to substitute the values of A, B, C, D. These values you have to substitute here and this will be equal to 360 and by that you can find the value of X and if you know the value of X, multiplying this value with 3 will give you the value of this angle. Now, angle A is 3X, B is 5X, C is 9X and D is 13x and that is equal to 360 degrees. Now you have to add these. So 13 plus 5 is 18 and 18 plus 3 is 21 plus 9 is 30. So this is 30x that will be equal to 360. Now if you want to find the value of x you have to shift this constant to that side. Here obviously it is multiplying with x so shifting that side it should divide so cancelling this so the value of x here should be 12 degrees now we know the value of x now if you want to find the value of this angle what you have to do is angle a will be equal to 3x and the value of x here is 12 now so the value of a will be 36 degrees Similarly, if you want to find the value of angle B, in that case, you have to multiply 5 with X and the value of X is 12. So, substituting the value, that will be 5 into 12. That is 60 degrees. Similarly, if you want to find the value of angle C, multiply 9 with 12. That is 108 degrees. If you want to find the value of angle D, that will be equal to 13 multiplied by 12, that is 156 degrees. So this is how you can find the values of all four angles for this particular question. I hope you have understood how to solve this. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact us. The phone number, the email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.